Let's keep uh, browsing my sketchbook and talking about the workshops and the sketching activity we had uh, this year for the Urban Sketcher Symposium in Chicago. Pablo Picasso, okay, you can read this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very important for this workshop, okay? When I was the age of these children, I could draw like Raphael. And I, it, took, it took me many years uh, to learn how to draw uh, like this children. Okay? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's very important. Uh, feel free. It's like to go back. And clean uh, our experience. The most important thing of wash and in urban sketching 
is just paint with few colors. Only three or four colors, not more. It's not necessary. Uh, adding a lot of uh, different colors. Okay, no. For example, in this example, uh, I just use uh, orange, uh, turquoise, and I think uh, black, okay? And that's all, yeah, and white. If you are using a limited palette, always the drawing are balanced. The first, the first step is to get the wash uh, without water and adding water and more water. And please pay attention to uh, the textures because it's a tip for a Norman sketcher because we can use different textures mm, you can uh, the, the brush the brush stroke is very interesting when when the wash are very very dry dry brush yeah dry so yeah without water yeah right right and when um, when the wash uh, has a lot of water um, uh, has a behavior similar to watercolor, yeah? <coughs> and if you want to add um, lines with your uh, brush, with your thin brush, yeah, but mm, mi mix few colors, only one or two colors, low mixtures, please. Try to use directly the plain color. Mm -hmm. Try. Because finally, the colors becoming are rare colors. Because you are start mixing and mixing, okay, yes. Wow. You understand me? Yeah.
Are you doing uh, audio at the same time? Uh, yeah, I have a microphone this year, so maybe so. we will uh, hear you rather well. You want to, well, uh, to tell something to our... Well. <laughs> hey? Hey from Chicago. <laughs> Hello from Chicago. I'm trying my, my own medicine. Yeah? Came out here after my workshop. I had everybody painting this scene in uh, direct with a brush straight onto the page. So now I'm trying it myself to see yeah. whether it's actually possible to do. <laughs> after I tortured so everybody. So you didn't else. try it after, uh, before no. for the students and now, now you're going uh, to check if uh, I'm going to see. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's quite fun. It seems so if uh, your sketch is a reference, but you can do anything. With, uh, with the shadow and the painting, we can't really see the colors, but uh, I can tell that they are beautiful. Yeah. How about this? Yeah, yeah. you can see it, it a bit more, but don't want to disturb you with your painting. Don't put it too much in no. the sun if it's, it's not. Alright. It's alright. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. So thank you for, for sharing and for this greeting uh, words <laughs> for the video. Difficult time to focus on my own painting right now. Maybe seeing such a masterpiece in work in progress, it's too disturbing for me. <laughs> Laurel, are you going to make a photographic masterpiece? Absolutely not. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure of it. You have to. <laughs> in front of such a wonderful view. Oh, that's so impressive. Trying, details, trees, yeah? I'm trying right now to... Uh, I'm just adding some little dark details on top. But all the while it's been to make a little puzzle, like connect the puzzle pieces together. So all these little darks and dashes mm -hmm. I've left behind are now starting to turn into the what's under the train bridge. Yeah. Right? So it's delayed gratification for when you can put in the little details. <laughs> you know, when so you have that, At the moment you prefer? You talk about gratification, so... Well, you have to delay... It's uh, We say delayed gratification in mm -hmm. the term to mean you have to wait. Yeah. You have to hold off, wait for what the good stuff that you want to put in. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you put it too soon and then uh, it's uh, washed away when you put some wash on the top and that's not good, of course. Well, when you do it last, you can decide how little you're going to put in. If you yeah. do it... If you draw everything, you put you put in everything. If you draw an outline, if you draw every window, you, you're forced to put in every detail. If you wait to the last minute to add detail, it's easier for me to hold off, to hold back. Yeah, maybe, uh, it, maybe to re you realize that you don't yeah. really need all the details and so you try to restrict, restrict yourself with only yeah. what is needed. Much easier not to overdo it uh, yeah. Yeah, if you wait. Yeah, Get I decided the right away that I wanted uh, to have just a really simple silhouette on mine. Yeah. Uh, no detail oh, at all on the, the building, so I tried the, yeah. this and so... The shadow on the track is perfect, yes. Okay, oh, yeah. thank you. It's excellent. That's very graphic, get that shadow. Yeah, I car. think that's a bit of uh, maybe something I learned a bit uh, more in the Alvaro Castanet workshop, trying to be bold with okay. this shadow. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I'm starting to, <laughs> to be able to apply a few things in my own work. These tricks. Yeah, yeah, nice thing. So uh, throwing again some uh, dirty water out of the bridge. That's quite fun. 